2020, the Wolves. Oh, but it's a uh, 2021. Yeah. Old This one got a different, it's a white, but it got a different eye. What's up mga kalapatids? We're here at uh, Corpus Christi. Uh, here at my friend Kuya Zoilo, he's giving me the, something for the loft. So we're, we came here to visit. We drive about two hours and a half here at Corpus Christi, the Bay Area here in, in Texas. So here we are, uh, Kuya Zoilo. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you guys? Um, this is his, his birds, his loft, so beautiful. So we're, we're gonna go inside and uh, interview Mr. Zoilo. Kuya Zoilo, uh, how long you been doing the birds? I've been doing the birds uh, since I was a kid, probably around 10 years old, when I play back in the Philippines. Okay. And of course, uh, high school, college, you know, I got I got rid of it. Then when I got, when I joined the military in 91, and I got married around 94, maybe 95, uh, I used to have lovebirds, but since we used to run <coughs> daycare, uh, we're not allowed to have anything that parrot related. So I said, I'm gonna get bored. So I decided to uh, start with pigeon. I, I had a, probably like two or two, three by three cage. I put my birds there in Navy housing. And every time okay. I deploy, my daughter will take care of it. And then, uh, so when, my, when I moved to my first house, I started building uh, my loft. And then uh, I, I wasn't racing, but I was just doing, uh, I was showing my birds. for, uh, for Like was, show was, birds? Yeah, I was a member of San Diego Metro Pigeon Club. So that's back in California? Yeah, back in San Diego. Then uh, I, had, I had pigeons. And then when I got stationed here in... 2007 so I moved my uh, all my birds from California here and then <clears throat> that's when probably 2009 that's when I decided to join a racing club I'm a member of the Bibel Racing Pigeon Club and used to be CCBI Corpus Christi uh, independent uh, Corpus Christi so are you, um, uh, do you know Dixie Gilkin? Yeah, he's our president. He's your, pre he's your president in your yeah. club? Oh, okay. Dixie Gilkin is our president. I'm the assistant uh, secretary. The secretary. Of the club. And how long have you been a um, member with that club? Since 2009, then 2012, I got rid of all my birds. And then I decided to come back again in maybe 2019. That's when I start racing again. So 2020 is when I came back and raised my first bird. So do you fly mostly in the club, right? Yeah. And, and do you do one love race too? I did in 2021. I 2021. Joined Texas Dash. Oh yeah, and you won, right? And I won ninth place. Ninth oh, place, but because the ninth bird was uh, Texas Dash bird. My bird was placed ninth. Ninth, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a money bird, but we, there was three of us in that uh, uh, syndicate. Oh, okay. So my bird's the only one that made it, so uh, we had to. And you have money. that bird here with? No, that that was that bird was lost in uh, the four hundred. The four hundred. Oh yeah, man. I should have. Uh, but what bird is that? That's my Ludo and uh, Sablon. Uh, it's a white bird. White bird. Because we, we all know, guys, that uh, Mr. Zoilo has a lot of white grizzles. So here, later on, we will show you. Since you mentioned um, the military, how long did you serve? 
I retired in 2011. I did 20 years. So he's a soldier here yeah. in the United States. And um, what branch? I'm in the U.S. Navy. U.S. Navy. So shout out to the military, especially the U.S. Navy veterans. Thank you, sir, for your service. Thank you. So a lot of veterans, too, that are flying um, pigeons, um, you know, along with the... Uh, Richard Aquino down in it's San Antonio. Of, uh, it's my way of relaxing. Yeah, so relax. that's why. After the hard work, you know, you come home and fly the birds. And so do you still work? or? Uh, right now I work in the Army for, as a quality inspector for helicopter parts. Oh, okay. So after a, a good day of work, you co come home and and watch the birds and it's very soothing to just maybe he sits here in his nice backyard and you know just watch the birds and hear them and that's you know content anyway uh you want us to can you show us your your loft your birds okay, uh, but i remove all the nest boxes which you're gonna have Okay. And then this used to be. Then this is my flying. Lock. So flyers and then breeders. breeders yeah. Do you have the hens and cocks separated? Right now the hens are on the side. I have a small. Uh, Where? Small, oh, you have more. He has more over there. <laughs> so it's my, he's hiding the, the. These are my breeding. Oh wow! Can we? Can you show us? Uh, we'll follow. Well, I'll follow you. He's the best. These are all the hens. Wow, so right now they're separated. Yeah, these are all the hens. Wow, look at that. Oh, a lot of white. So where can we, where, where, this is the loft that. They go eat here, the water. So this the, is the, outside. the mother of the uh, 2021 winner, uh, winner. Texas Dash. That's a import sablon. Imported sablon, wow. So this is the only loft that we go to where there's a lot of uh, white grizzles. So that's really soothing just to see them. And th you said these are hens and that side these too? Are, these are all hens. They're oh, still, these are all hens. There's two cocks here, but they're all, all birds. So oh, okay. The, so the hen doesn't lay eggs. Wow. So they but yeah, these are all the hens. Okay, and what do you have over there? Oh, You're like breeding there? These are also my breeding. But it's empty? Yeah, these are, I still need to oh, Okay, so these this is my, um my his breeding, breeding loft. Breeding it's a nice um, uh, roof because they get sunlight. Yeah. And he doesn't need to, his, his feeders are outside, so he doesn't need to bother the birds. And over there. This is also individual. And you got, are you, pay, are breeding, are you breeding no, right now? I'm, I'm not breeding until probably, after I clean it, maybe starting, maybe February. I don't February. breed early because I, I don't like the hawks. Oh yeah, so okay. I, I wait a little bit. So how many are you planning to breed for 2023 to fly probably in your 40, club? Probably 40. I always 40, stick to 40, 40? 40 birds. Okay. So what are the the lines here? What are the um, mostly the birds that you fly? Of, most of them right now are Ludo. And then I have the the Sharon Van Gramderen. Okay. The white coonie red line. And are those the white ones? What are the white ones? Are they all the same bloodlines or they're they're different? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. She got picked. Yeah. I'm gonna move them today or tomorrow to the, the other, uh, other lawn. Oh, okay. Oh, they're beautiful. The, the, some of these are my original uh, bloodline, uh, uh, OHF, Oak Haven Farm. Oak Haven Farm? Yeah. And then uh, the white pruning. White Cooning, is that the one from uh, Oak Haven? No, no, it's What's uh, the Sharon, one? Sharon Van Gambren. Oh, okay. That's the one from Oak Haven Farms. 
There's no more Oak Haven Farms, right? No, no. There's no more. I, I bought the one of his. So that's the originals. When he uh, passed away. Yeah. So one of the originals. Look at this old guy. That's an old bird. Yeah, he's blind already. He's blind already. How old is he? Twenty fourteen. Yeah. Is he that the a, oldest one? No, I got two thousand eleven and still giving me. Uh, oh yeah. The still giving me my ohf and white tuning is still 2011 2010 and 2011 they're still giving me uh babies what's that white flight with the blue bar which one that, that the one, one on the that one that's uh daisher i will show that oh okay daisher yeah it's okay. original daisher and that one too looks this, that, is that a cockbird? Yeah, it's a cockbird. It's old too. And what creator. is that one? It's a creator. Like that. Cre uh, creator? It's not. It's not. It's a it's fertile. Oh, he's not fertile no more? Yes. Oh, okay. So a lot of grizzles. That's my bandana veil. Gabby. Mother, yeah, yeah. This, this grizzle there. The grizzle? With oh, okay. The, the purple band, this one? Yeah. She's the mother of uh, last year, last year first place in, my, in our club. Mm -hmm. The mother, that yeah, one? That's the mother. Gabby Van Denebiel. Yeah, the, I paired them up to the Ludo. The Ludo and Gabby. Yeah. Seems to work for him here in uh, Corpus Christi. You guys see all that beautiful birds. that 2011 2011 and he's still fertile yeah what line is on the gabby or no it's a ohf it's the OHF. a OHF. brighter star okay this uh grizzle look at that look at that eye beautiful this one is rp usa oh no yeah rp usa bloodline these are my racers uh, i'm gonna race for old birds yeah oh let's go check them out Ooh. this is how it is when you come here so he doesn't need to go inside he's got everything he needs water electricity keep everything clean his maintenance and all right so you want to give us a tour you <laughs> said this is your um his old birds wow Look at that. So when you come in here, so it, it, it has a lot of room for me. So I'm about like this right here and it's it's uh, ventilated too. Look at that. Look at these birds. These are the ones that he flies. So I guess he's going to fly this on the old bird team, his old bird team. Wow, they're beautiful. You're looking good. A lot of grizzles too. Look at that. Is that the same one? Which one? Th that one? With the big guaro? Yeah. That's my white cloning bed line. Oh, the That's white. out of my import. It's an import, imported birds. Uh, uh, this, that's local here. I put them out on the oil, but I pulled them out. Why? I, will, I wanted to keep him because I like the way he's still um, fertile. Yes. He's still breeding. Yeah. Uh, hopefully next this year he's still fertile, but he's still healthy. Yeah. And these birds fly the old birds last year? No. I only, I only fly young birds, but since, since I couldn't uh, fly some of them last year, I'm going to fly it this year. The white, the white there on the corner, like Which this. one? This one? No, no, that on one. the bottom. The bottom? The white one, that's my window. Right there, the one on the corner. Yeah. Yeah. The one with the red band? The one with the yellow band. That one in the no, corner. No, no, no. That one. This one. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my This Ludo. one. The Ludo. Is that the one you gave Queer Aroma? That, yeah, that's the, the babies? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the father. 
for your roamer. That's what your baby gonna look, your um, young birds gonna look like when they get older. Like that bird, that Ludo, that's import, import too? Yeah, that's an uh, import bird. And where do you get your import birds? From my friend in uh, Netherlands. Nether oh, you have a friend over there in Netherlands? Yeah. And he has a lot of white grizzles too? No, he doesn't. He, that, that one, that blue one right there, and the, the middle. This one? With the gold band. This, the, oh, that one on top? That's an import. Oh, what, what is that one then? Uh, back, back stand, I think. Oh, okay. It's import from Netherlands? Yeah. Mo most of your birds, you get it from uh, Netherlands? Yeah. All right. A lot of imports. So relaxing to just sit here, especially when they fly. What is that one? The red check. That's out of my. Uh, the father is. The father is right there. That's out of my. Uh, and. Uh, Oh, and that one? Which one? This one right here. That's the son of the blue bar. Uh, the gold? Yeah. Oh, the your mother is uh, sixth place on my uh, on uh, So which one so far did good to, did really good for you for the here yeah. in the club? The Ludo. Which what, one? What, the Ludo, the one with the... The yellow band? Yeah. That one? Yeah, he, he's so far the... The Ludo and the... The OHF. And which is... Where is that, that one? one? That one with the red the, band. This one? On the bottom? The white one with the... That one, in the corner? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that he's that a, one right he's there. It's a, a good... Uh, and then the other one with the yellow band. That one. Wow. They're they're all white, right? They're pure white. Wow. Yeah, sometimes they're they're young come up. Can I can I handle them? Yeah. So here is uh, one of his imports. So nice that he let me uh, handle handle it. Look at this white cock, 2019. So this is the the band number. NL 2019-1426519 White, all white You can say it's a grizzle cock This is uh, one of his uh, import imported birds from Netherlands Good handling pigeon, very nice Very active, it's got a lot of energy Look at that white there you go guys this is a 2010 bird uh, grizzle cock uh, band number AU 2010 B 1528 this guy flew uh, the one love race right Got full of energy. Get that waddle. So here's the sibling of the winner, Texas Dash, for cash last year. To, uh, well not last year two yeah, years 21. ago 2021 21. we keep saying last year but <laughs> we think it's still uh, uh 2022 but two years ago and can you tell us the line i know you said uh, uh sablon the mother is uh, the rosa bloom and the father is the ludo class and the, the, where the, where did those birds come from uh, they're from uh, uh netherlands both import. of them? Mm -hmm. Wow. This so, is out of my import. So they're both import cross. Yeah. So you like to... Alright. You like to cross your birds? Yeah, I don't like inbred. I yeah, I don't like inbred either. Unless they're super. Yeah. If I'm gonna keep... Uh, the only one inbred I have here 
is the uh, the grand grand son of the. And why did you inbreed that bird? It for? was accidental. Oh, okay. And then you would you would cross the the baby, right? I mean that bird, the inbred. Yeah. To another I... line. This is the uh, this is the only inbred white tuning I have. Wow. His mom is uh, and his grandmother is uh, money winner in our line. club. Oh really? Yeah. The auction or auction, yeah, young bird auction. The which one is the winner? The the, the grandmother of this. Oh okay. White this coney. one this one was lost uh two weeks. Came two week? back. Oh yeah? Yeah. On during the club? Club race. The club race? Mm -hmm. And he and he came back. Yeah. Let me take a close look up on that eye. Wow. Beautiful. What year is that? Uh twenty twenty one. Oh, 22. Oh, just last year. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fight the old birds too. Nice. Okay. Small cap. You're gonna release it too? Oh, well, now there's two of them. So, uh, it's a beautiful day right here today, guys. In Corpus Christi. There's another brother. There they are, they're flying. They're flying. A lot of imported lines. Makes me uh, want to get some birds from Mr. Zoilo. That one is a sibling of that one? Yeah. But older or same? Same year. Oh, look at that eye. Wow, look at that. Imported. Up the, up same year, imported. they're nest mates? Yeah, well, it, the, I think the second bat or second Second can, can I handle that bird? And this one is the sibling too, the nestmate, mm -hmm. the one you just released. 2020, the the old. Oh, but it's a 2021. So yeah. It's a older. But older. look at that eye. This is an imported line, man. Look at that eye. You barely see that in one of. Especially white. The, the, yeah, in, in whites. This is wow. Look at that. It's amazing. I wonder why you, you love these birds and you, yeah. lo you love to fly. And even though they're white, I know you're dominating the, the club race here. And this is, um, he can he flies here too? Yeah, you can let it, let it go. Mm -hmm. Now there's three birds flying. Yeah, they'll be back. And they'll be back. OHF saka finicky OHF and uh, finicky 5000 yeah ang tatay niya ang nanay niya kapatid ng OHF din another cock another different eye super super eye wow ang ganda ng katawan mga kalapatids OHF and the um, finicky finicky 5000 that eye all his grizzles got different eyes well, I mean they're all different um, lines too but oh man I'd love to have these birds these kind of birds ito ba chair din yeah ito ba chair ito ba chair pumasok na this one got a different, it's a white, but got different eye. Look at that. Wow. What is this one? OHF too. So another cross of OHF and? White coning. White coning? Yeah. And OHF with the cross. And that one flies here too? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. 20, oh, wow. 2020. This flew uh, 300. 300. 300 miles as a young bird. So now they're gonna fly old birds. Yeah. Wow, look at that.
Alright, mga kalapatids, we're gonna wrap it up here at uh, Mr. Zoilo's Loft. Um, do you have anything to say or advice? Not just not just advice, but any kind of words to the people that are watching, especially the kalapatids in the pigeon world, pigeon fanciers, breeders, fanciers. Yeah, just keep it simple. You know, uh, if you're not enjoying, then you're not doing it right. Uh, quality versus uh, versus quantity. I rather have two good expensive birds or quality birds than uh, ten mediocre birds. So yeah, that's the only. And take your time. You know, your Rome wasn't built in one day, so you know, you're not right. gonna you're not gonna win right away in, in one day your first race. You know, take your time. Learn from the expert. Feel their birds if they let you if they let you handle their birds feel them see what they're what type of winning birds they have what kind of body composition they they have and that's it the the, the lineage you know some some lineage might work on somebody some some might not work on someone so it, it depends it depends on, it depends on what birds gonna click on you on your side so, how about the the genetics? Do you, any advice to genetics? the other guys? Well, some people inbreed, some people crossbreed. I do more crossbreeding, and I I don't I tried uh, inbreeding and I never like it, so I just crossbreed. But you know sometimes you you probably need to, but I never did unless you unless I really really have a good. Uh, Line, line type type of line bird that I want, but maybe I will inbreed. But right now I'm not. I'm just cross breeding. Okay, last but not the least, any breeding tips? Breeding tips? I don't really have anything. Any breed? Any secret? Just whatever birds I think. I look at the birds. I feel them, and some people says, you know, if you had that gut feeling. That's when I, that's how I go by. If I think So birds, do you go by their pedigrees or just by guts or by gut feeling by the they way look? the way they look. That's it. I just put them together. I don't just, look at the eyes. I don't look at you know how you're not supposed to pair small bird to big bird. I just if I like the bird though, when I see it and I have that feeling I'll So you it so you pick it. the pairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you ever do you ev do you ever um, let them choose by their own? Uh, sometimes when I used to have that, if I have a big block, maybe. But since I don't, I just I just pick and put them on the individual breeding pen. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you. And for giving us the the breeding pens that you're um, giving me. Uh, we'll uh, update these guys next time so they can see it. Thank you, sir, for having us. Thank you.